hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding read group or a method in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorial so currently in the screen you can see i have opened the list view of the patients and we have got around 13 patients in the database so if i open any of the patient let it be all mates and here you can see we have got a computed field called appointment count which computes the number of appointments for this patient so if i go to the pie charm and then to the custom add-ons then to the om hospital models and if i open patient.py file and if i scroll upside you can see we have the field appointment count of type integer and it's a computed field non-stored computed field and if i search for this function here you can see we have already defined its function and if you check here you can see currently the value is computed using the search count method so what we will be doing is that instead of using search count to compute the value we will be showing you how to compute the value using the read group method in Odoo which is an ORM method so we will be modifying this function and we will be computing the number of appointments using the read group function so if i go back to the odoo and if i come to the appointments and here you can see inside the search view we have the option called group by suppose if i need to group by this appointments based on patient what we will be doing is that we will click on group by and we will click on patient click on apply so you can see the system will group the appointments based on the inputted field based on the patient so on clicking these the read group method that is read group or a method is getting executed so let's see how we can modify this function and use read group method so what i'll do is that let me copy this and i will put it over here and what i will say search count so right now i will move it to a variable count and i will assign it to this variable just i'm doing a small rearrange and what i have to do is that i have to delete the search count method and i have to use the read group method so read underscore group is the method and this function that is read group method has got three parameters one is domain fields and group by so if i search for read group inside the odoo source code so here we have the odoo source code and if i right click find in path and if i enter diff read group or what i can say yes diff read group you can see the function has attributes like domain fields and group by so these are the group by option that is mandatory group by option that we have to pass when we call this function domain fields and group by so i'll close this tab and what i'll do is that i'll pass these variables domain equal to you have to pass a list of domain that is you know how the syntax of a domain we have to pass it as a normal domain that is list of tuples then you have to pass which all fields that you have to get in the results that you have to you can pass inside fields equal to list of field name that you have to read then group by on based on which group field you have to do the group by option so find in path yes it's group by and it's also list of group by fields so let's see what we get as a result of this operation so currently i will pass the appointment count as 10 hard currently and i'll put this variable name as appointment group and let me print this variable and see what we receive inside this variable so i'll just print this here so what we have done is we have called the read group method with empty domain and fields we have to specify some fields so if i didn't specify any field name i think it may raise some error so let's try that so i have just restarted the service and i'll clear the log and if i go to the ui and if i try to open any of the patients or roommates and let's check the log you can see the function is getting executed and we are getting 
the results as follows so it's not the desired result that we need you can see we are getting id 16 and count as 42 so as we have opened this you can see it's coming as 42 i think which is the total number of appointments you can see total number of appointments is 42 which you are getting over here because we are not grouping by any fields so currently the group by is empty thus we are receiving all the records so currently what i will do if i go to the appointments here we have a field called patient id you can see patient underscore id so i'll simply pass that field to the group by option i'll specify i need to group by patient id field and that field if we specifying any field that has to be added inside the fields also so i'll add it here also the field and i'll close so let's restart and see what happens right now so i have just restarted the service i'll clear the log let me go to the ui and let me go to the patients and let me restart so we can see in the log we are getting some result and patient count 12 and patient id 2 so if i let me go back to the another screen appointments i'll clear the log and if i come to the patient's tree view you can see the log is coming as follows so you can see you are getting a result like this patient id count then patient id and if you see like this you won't understand so let me do something so let me iterate over a for loop for appointment in appointment group and let me print one by one so i'll print here I'll print the appointment so let me restart again i'll clear the log and let me refresh the patient tree view so if you check the log currently you can see you are getting the desired result like this that is if i start from the top let's take this scenario so here you can see patient id 12 patient id 2 it says patient id count as 12 so if i go to patient record and if i open the record with id 2 that is patient id 2 the read group method says i have got 12 appointments so if i go to appointments and if i group by patient group by patient it says automates has got 12 appointments you can see automates has got 12 appointments 12 appointments patient id count 12 and here you can see the domain apply domain is patient id equal to 12 so we are getting the result then patient 3 patient 3 let me duplicate this tab and if i come to the patients let me open patient 3 yes it's manco and if i check here for manco you can see we have got nine appointments for manco can see nine appointments for patient with id 16 patient with id 16 patient with id 16 which one this is appointments so if i go to patient with id 16 maybe grades it's not grades i'll change the url patient id 16 it's pineapple and if you check here pineapple has got five appointments which we are receiving over here so this is the result of read group method now what we have to do we have to assign this to the variable so first of all we have to browse the record so currently we have only the id here that is patient id so we have to browse that record and we have to set appointment count as patient id count so let me print appointment so inside appointment we are receiving this so appointment dot get patient id so i'll print that appointment dot get patient id patient id and let's see what we are receiving in this variable so let me restart and let me go to the ui and let me refresh the patient screen and here you can see we are printing the appointment id appointment dot get appointment id and we are receiving this variable but we need only to get the first one so i'll put off zero so if i print put off zero 
it will return me the first item inside the tuple so here you can see this is a tuple representation where this is first position that is zero position and this is second position so i have given of zero over here so let me restart again and if i go to the ui and refresh and if you come back to here you can see we are receiving the id of the patients now what we have to do we have to browse the patient so patient rec equal to self.env or self.browse self itself is patient you can see currently we are inside hospital.patient so self will be the same model so self.browse but i have to browse i have to pass this id so i'll pass this one or let me assign this to a variable called patient id patient id equal to appointment dot get patient id of zero then i will browse this to get the record set so i have browsed and received the record set then what i will do patient rec dot field name patient rec dot appointment count equal to i have to set the value from appointment that is if i print appointment alone alone if i print appointment alone so temporarily i will put a dummy variable as 10 and i have printed the appointment again and i'll restart and if i go to the ui and if i refresh the log will be getting updated and inside the appointment variable we have the field called patient id count which is returned by odoo so i'll take patient id count and i'll assign here that is appointment of a patient id count and i'll remove this variable and let me print or let me remove let me remove that print statement also we don't need to iterate the self over a for loop right now because we are taking all the record at once so i have just removed the iteration over a for loop because we are already handling the iteration over here then again iterating over a for loop it will increase the number of loops you can see currently the loop is executed a lot of times because we have given for rec in self over here so i have just removed that and i will adjust the code so i have assigned like this and let me refresh and if i go to the ui so let me clear the log and if i refresh you can see we are receiving an error so here you can see value error compute method failed to assign hospital dot patient dot appointment count so we already have made a video on the, this topic so this error is raised when the system fails to assign a value to a record so the case is that currently i will show you let me write some code so i'll write some code here self minus equal to patient rec and self dot appointment count equal to zero so i have just added a couple of lines of the code here and let me restart so i'll explain this scenario so i have just added the code and restarted the service and if i come to the ui and if i refresh you can see there is no error and you can see the appointment count has been computed successfully so if you check here for odoo mates we received the count as 12 and if you go to mango the count is 9 and if you go to pineapple the count is 5 for orange 4 grapes 5 orange 4 grapes 5 then dragon 1 dragon 1 you can see and if i come to the list view you can see there is some records with zero value so here you can see for apple and another Odoo mates the appointment count is zero so these records cause the error so we have received an error here without adding this code because inside this group we don't have these values because these two patients does not have any appointments so the system will not return those values from this appointment group that is if i how can i say let me print this patient id let me print this patient id print patient id patient id 
you will see so i have printed the patient id and i'll remove the log and if i come to the ui i'll just restart and if you check here we are receiving one two three four five six seven eight 9 10 11 records so here we have received 11 records but actually in the system we have 13 records so the system is not able to assign the value for two records so once the system is not able to assign the value for two records it will throw the error we are not able to set the value for the computed field so thus you receive this error as system is not able to assign value for two records system is throwing error so what we have to do we have to set zero the value as appointment count as zero for those records that doesn't have appointment so for that what i have done is if you print the self here so i'll just print the self over here print self you will see i'll print the self over here and let me remove this variable and i'll restart again and if i refresh you can see inside the self we are receiving all the record set that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 inside self we are receiving 13 record set for which we have to assign the value because it's a computed field we are going to assign the value to a compute field so read group method is only this much so just i will clarify the read group method is only this one appointment group so this is the read group method ends here so we are processing the result of read group method and assigning the value to a compute field so i hope you understood the read group method so i'm just explaining a bit more of python side so the self is this one the thought 13 records and using read group method we are able to set the for the count for those patients having appointments so if i set a value from self i will minus self equal to self of minus patient rec so if i assign a value so here you can see i'm for patient rec i'm assigning appointment count then i will remove this patient rec from self and i will assign it to self self that is new self equal to self minus this patient rec so finally after iterating here we will receive the self as print final self self variable we'll see you will have only two records inside the final self so i'll clear the log and if i refresh and if you check the log here you can see final self has only two records 52 and 53 then for those records i will set appointment count as zero so i'll remove this print statement and instead of doing like this you can simplify the expression by putting self minus equal to this is the simplified expression self minus equal to patient rec so we have successfully done that now coming back to the read group here you can see we have domain suppose if i come here currently you can see all the appointments has been showing here let's assume a case where we have to show only done appointments that is instead of showing all appointments we need to get the count of done appointments then what we have to do here we can see the status so if you check the field name the field name is state and the key for the done state is done you can see in the tooltip so what i'll do is that inside domain i'll specify state equal to done so i'm saying to the system i need to get only done appointment state equal to done so let me restart and if i come back to the patients and if i restart this count will get changed so currently for audio mates it's showing the appointment count as four so if i go here group by audio mates total 12 records if i group by again with status apply you can see there is only four done appointments which we are receiving over here so i hope you understood the working of read group method in Udu. so if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like 
linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you